Hi, I'm back. It's me again. The preacher from the Philippines. And again, if this is your first time watching my videos, let me just introduce to you myself. I am Pastor Roland Perez, ordained minister when I was only 17 years old. I went to Bible College, took a Bachelor of Arts. And I have 36 years of experience, not 35, 36 years of experience in serving, delivering, studying the words of God. I'm a revivalist, crusader, teacher, preacher. So I'm assuring all of you now, watching this video, that I know what I'm talking about. The title of my message, Deny the Holy Spirit, then go to hell for eternity. I pity all of you who deny God the Holy Spirit. There is God, there is hell, there is heaven. Anybody who doesn't believe in God, anybody who deny the Holy Spirit, anybody who does not believe in God, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, will surely be tormented in hell. I pity all of you, blasphemers, mockers of God, Brian Fleming, and you too, Brian Sapien. All of you blasphemers, you Richard Douglas, you Pat Condell, you Rahel, you will all be tormented in hell, I'm telling you. You are just fooling yourself. You are kicking against the bricks. You are fighting against this great, this great God, the Almighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let me just um, answer some comments again. Okay. Nermal's channel. There is no God. You are just wasting your time. When will you make up your mind? There is no God. Psalm chapter 14 verse 1. The fool had said in his heart that there is no God. They are corrupt. He might be asking this, if there is a God, how come he is not yet punishing you? How come you're all still alive and continue blaspheming and denying him? Well, that's only proof, that only proves how merciful and loving God is. Actually, all of you, blasphemers and mockers, and you do read your tokens, Pat Condell, Brian Sapien, Brian Fleming. You must be in hell now, when I'm 666. All of you who mock and blaspheme God. But God's long suffering, God's patience for you to repent. And yet you keep on denying and mocking and blaspheming Him. I pity all of you. Okay, reverse on the man again. We do mock him until he doesn't strike us down. If he exists, you see, Mr. Uh, reverse on the moon. You are uh, still questioning God. How come he doesn't punish you? Well? But don't worry, Mr. Reverse on the moon. Have more patience. All of you blasphemers and mocks, all of you who deny the Holy Spirit. I'm assuring all of you, you will all be tormented into the lake of fire if you will not repent and bow down to this great God. Yes, God will still forgive you. God will still forgive you if you will only bow down and accept. Minds one talk no. Minds one no. You see, even your screen names are so difficult to pronounce. I don't mock and blaspheme God. I don't believe there is God. I do mock and blaspheme you the way you yell in your pictures. 
I don't think Jesus yelled like you when he was on the cross. So therefore, you believe in Jesus Christ. And yet, according to you, you don't believe in God. See how, how, how confused you are, all of you atheists. don't believe in God. You mock and blaspheme him. Something must be wrong with all of you. You are all manipulated, brainwashed by Satan. All of you have this, all of you unbelievers, all of you who doesn't like to believe in God are all brainwashed, manipulated by Satan. You will all be tormented into the lake of fire. I am telling you now, stop blaspheming God. Stop blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Stop blaspheming Jesus Christ before it will be too late. You are just kicking against the priests. This one thing I can promise to all of you at the ears. If you have made up your mind that you will mock and blaspheme and deny God until you die, prepare yourself. All of you mockers and blasphemers of God. All of you who doesn't like to acknowledge Jesus Christ. I can promise you that 100%. Only one thing that I can promise you. I cannot promise you if you will enjoy being born alive. If you will enjoy wars that covers your body. I cannot promise that you will enjoy it. There is no medication. It's from eternity to eternity. 24 hours, 7 days a week. No rest day and night. There will be nothing of thee. That's a wish for you, all of you, mockers and blasphemers of God. Especially you who deny the Holy Spirit. It's just a matter of time now. You will see this great God sitting on this great throne. You will see this great God, the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe. It will be the greatest shock of your life, all of you. Yet these mockers and blasphemers. You will bow down. Whether you like it or not, you will acknowledge, you will worship Him, you will bow down to Him. You will cry. You will scream in pain and beg God for another chance. You will beg Him for eternity. No more chances. No more mercy. And these are the exact words that you will hear from God. Pat Condell, Rael, Winam 666, Brian Fleming, Richard Dawkins, all of you at ease. On that great day, these are the exact words that you will hear. I never knew you depart from me. These are the exact words that you will hear from God. And one by one, all of you at these blasphemers and mockers, all of you Muslims who doesn't like to acknowledge God, all of you Roman Catholics, Mormons, Hindus, and Buddhists, all of you Jehovah's Witnesses, all of you Scientologists, Hare Krishna, Church of Satan, and Spiritists, and Seventh-day Adventists. One by one, you will all be cast into the lake of fire. The fire doesn't quench. It will be from eternity to eternity. All you're doing into that place, scream. Scream and scream in pain. You will be God. There's no more God to help you, to save you. What a foolish generation. Okay. Webmatic, I'm not playing games. But sir, you are. You cannot test and tempt God and succumb to your caprizzo. Test him for two months and then see a result. No. Either you will decide 